Let's see right. Oh damn, that's a heavy but I'm running bunk. He can't get me because I'm a ninja. Keep running, keep running, keep running. He ain't going because he's so fat and then I die. Yep. To the next dimension. Hello everybody, it's the Cover Dudes right from Down Under with the first episode of my new series, Only Use Me Taunt. Now, this series where I have to get a kill with a taunt with every class. Now, the rules are I can't kill an AFK and I can't kill a sniper. So I challenge you guys to do the same with me. Try to get a taunt kill with those rules. Now, this video is a combination of two games. The first two clips of one game, but the last one is the second game, where I killed a heavy on the first go. So, I was pretty lucky to get that in a, just a very short amount of time. The reason I cut it down was because it was a really, really long game. It was about 15 minutes, so I had to take some of the footage out. Since it goes for about 8-ish minutes, and I hate play-by-plays, -play I can't do them. I can do them, but just really, uh, not my thing. I'd like to talk about the class I'm using, the Scout. I'll do this for every class, so there should be a bit of consistency along the 10 ish episodes, and maybe you get a bit of experience, maybe you learn a couple things just from my experience with TF2. Now, since I've challenged myself not to use any weapons and only the Torn, I'll just talk about the melee weapon I was using, the Atomizer. Now, since the Torn is a one hit kill and I'm not supposed to use the actual bat, I thought the Atomizer would be fantastic for this game because I can pretty much triple jump with it. To be honest, this is my go-to bat for the scout. How many times has the triple jump saved me during this video and off situa in other situations off camera? For me, the scout isn't one of my most favourite classes, just because of the fact that this, his weapons are very high damage, but only in close range. Also, most of the weapons run out of ammo really fast, meaning I'm always reloading. My normal setup is a scattergun, bonk or criticola, and an atomizer. The reason I use this setup is because it has a great balance of abilities, which is really what all my classes are. Nothing's too over in one side and then lacking in another, it's pretty balanced. So what I'll do is go over each gun and do a mini review. No tactics or anything in depth, but just a general overview of the weapon. If I had time, I'd love to do all of the weapons of the scout and all the weapons of all the other classes, but it's just too much effort and too much time, so I'll keep it to my normal kit. First weapon is a scattergun, which is a short range of damage of 85 to 105, medium damage to 10 to 40, and long range to 3 to 10. So now as you can see is a massive drop off from short to medium, 50% in fact. This is a general rule of thumb with the scout and with all of his weapons. But the reason I think the scattergun is so good is because of the fact that you can load 6 shots into the chamber at one time. This gives you some breathing space if you miss some shots. With the short stop, force the nation soda popper hasn't got that breathing space. The short, got, short stop's got 4, the force the nation soda popper's got 2. If you miss it, you pretty much have to reload and you're gonna die really really fast. It may have a lacking fiber rate, but I actually like that. I have time to actually aim, rather than spray like the short stop does. Now, I said that I like the Bonk and the Criticola, so I'll just go with the one I like best, which is the Bonk Atomic Punch. Now, this drink allows the user to become invulnerable for 6 seconds, pulling the play into third person and giving a miss effect if anyone shoots him. I like this because there's a massive spawn camp going on, I just use the Bonk and run out which distracts the enemy for a couple seconds, and that's long enough for my mates to go take him down. It's also great if I'm getting shot at with a little bit of health left, giving you know, a few extra seconds to run away and save my life. Now the last item is the Atomizer, which I talked about earlier. Damage wise, it's the worst bat in the game, with a 30% slow firing speed and minus 20% damage, but it comes back with the triple dump, triple jump, which is perfect for confusing snipers on 2-4. Sadly, the ones here were a bit smart and killed me before I could use it. So in my opinion, I'll give the scout about a 7.5 out of 10. He's just too easy to kill from my experience, but he's absolutely great for capturing the intelligence, so he's a vital member in the team, but it isn't my cup of tea. Now, I want your input in the next Only Use My Torn. I'm going to be using the, um, the Soldier next, but I need to know what map to play on. So show, you, show your opinion in the comments below. Also, I'll give a shout out to anyone who gets a taunt in the least, allow, least amount of lives. Mine was about 10, including the second game. Put your submissions as a video response.
Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please tell me in the comments on what to improve on. If you want to see more TF2 videos and combat arms and all the other games I do, make sure you go to my channel called Aussie UCD. Link will be in the description. But all, remember, guys, we are YouTube. This is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under with TGN.TV. Out.